Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Thursday, August 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So, on the Euro dollar monthly, I still believe that this is overall just going to keep on growing into a big uptrend. I think it's eventually going to go all the way up and take out these highs, make like a nice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A, or possibly a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave 1. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think that there's a very good likelihood this move up is a wave one. I was thinking that this could be like an A, B, C, D, E, especially looking at the dollar index. I think that once this wave E is complete, it's going to end up continuing the uptrend to eventually make that three, four, and five, just like what I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we're definitely making a little bit of a move up right now. So we're going to have to see. I mean, we do have that CPI inflation data coming out today. To me, it looks like we're in a crutch and it looks like we're actually going to end up continuing the downtrend. Probably still like all part of a wave E, like a 1, 2. And then this is going to make like a 3, 4, 5 of wave E before it breaks structure to the upside. and most likely ends up continuing the uptrend from there. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, I mean this is kind of a three way pattern up and this is definitely a three way pattern down. We could actually instead of be an ABC, it definitely could be a WXY, but it's still a three way pattern whether it's a WXY or whether it's an ABC. I still think there's a good chance it's gonna go up. We test this fifty one percent and then today's news is probably gonna cause this to end this correction and most likely continue the downtrend. I'm thinking it may even be like a one two or and go down for that wave three of wave E. So let's take it right down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, like I said, I definitely see three waves up right here. I definitely see three waves down. It definitely looks more like a WXY than an ABC, but we do already have three waves up and I'm not really convinced that this third wave up is over. I think it's at least gonna go up and bounce off this Fib level. And then I believe that today's CPI inflation data is gonna cause the Euro to continue the downtrend, probably ending a Kretzen, maybe even ending an ABC of two and starting a big trend down for a wave three. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.